What's up fam, it's Mugen here. And today we're back with another video. We got outerwear haul, outerwear haul video. Uh, <laughs> so let's get right to it. Right here, we got the staple. I don't know if y'all can see the pigeon right there. Black on black hoodie. This cost me $70, I believe. Very cool brand, very slept on in my opinion. It's not really slept on like that, like people know about it, but the hype around it, I feel like has died down in recent years. And I feel like it, it deserves to just be known like that, you know, especially if you're from New York, you know, I fuck with it so much because I am from New York and you see pigeons everywhere here. So that's one hoodie. Let's keep the theme going with some hoodies. You got this from Uniqlo. It's just your basic blue hoodie. One different thing about it is the pocket, it doesn't extend all the way. So it's not like a full pocket. It's just like one pocket here. It's not a full hoodie pocket, let me say. And then one here. Like my hands, they won't meet in the middle. You can, like it stops there, it stops right here. So there's that. It cost me $30. Really nice blue in my opinion. Goes with one of the fleece jackets that I can show you that I forgot to bring. Be right back. And here we are with the fleece jacket from Colombia. This cost me a whopping $20. $20 for a fleece, where do you find that? I went to the outlet, or rather I should say my mom went to the outlet and she knew I wanted the Supreme fleece, the one with the penguins on it and that would cost way too much that would cost like 320 not way too much but like still more than anybody should pay for a fleece or let's not even get into all of that right now that's another video it's a whole other video but uh we got this for 20 dollars the retail 70 dollars i love rocking it with the hoodie i just showed you guys both of them go really well together in my opinion even though they're not the same exact shade of blue uh i just zip it up wear the hoodie and go go wherever i need to go all right let's continue with the hoodies we got an a kings and y hoodie one of my favorite hoodies you got the zipper on the side you got the one pocket so it's like this perfect for pulling out a gun <laughs> like if you're ever gonna shoot a movie you know uh, i just like that aspect of it and then you got the back zipper so you got like a little backpack action going right here very good material very high quality uh one of the thickest hoodies i've ever had very soft too so when you wear it it just feels like you're being hugged uh you also have my favorite part the hoodie the hoodie i can't doing this shows does no justice it does not show you the true beauty of the hoodie in my opinion and it just is one of those hoodies that make you look like a sith lord like a a ninja or a sith lord and basically the thing that i love about it is that when you walk it flows it goes up and down it does block your eyesight a little bit but like when you have it flowing it'll give you glimpses of what's ahead of you and i feel like if you're okay with that aspect of it if you're willing to sacrifice that to look a little better i think the hoodie is definitely worth it it cost me 250 dollars <coughs> but i feel like it is one of my favorite hoodies by far i got a size large everyone's true to size so i should have gotten an extra large but it was only the last size they had and large seemed to fit me i got a pair of pants from them also and i found out that those are a little too tight on me today so Hopefully I'm going to be able to get an exchange, but if I can't, then, you know, I'm going to have to get a smaller waist. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, we got a Stussy hoodie. We got the Ruins hoodie. We just got a bunch of different Ruins right here. I got the Turkey, Turkey one. This is Turkey, Turkey, shout out to Turkey. One of my favorite hoodies, 
I got some size large too back when I thought I was a large, which was not too long ago. I thought I was a large when I got the Aikens on my hoodie too, but it turns out I'm an extra large. But this shirt is large and it, it's it's different from brand to brand and item to item. So this I feel like maybe you might want to go a size up because I might still be a large. I'm still unsure about everything, but you got the Stussy World Tour. That cost me $95 plus shipping and tax, so $105 total. Next up, we got a Static Selecta hoodie. For those of you who are, who are hip hop aficionados, hip hop connoisseurs, uh, <laughs> this will stick out to you. It is the Balancing Act hoodie. Very good album. Has a lot of features on it. For those who don't know, Static Selecta is a legendary producer. This is his 25th anniversary album. I definitely suggest everyone go check out The Balancing Act. It has some really good tracks, some tracks that are okay, but some, the message behind a lot of the tracks, in my opinion, is very nice. You got Static Select Signature, and then you got The Balancing Act on the side. And 25th anniversary, I think it says there. 25 years of excellence on the other side, which I, would say is true 25 years of excellence for a fact. Now on to the next hoodie, or rather, rather should I say crew. It still has the tag on, uh, but we got this on sale for $30, $36, I believe. Very cool hoodie, very cool crew neck champion good quality uh you guys should know champions quality by now very nice uh sturdy material very soft wouldn't say it's the top of the top but for the price point it's one of the best qualities that you can get i've always stood by champion i love champion one of my favorite brands uh, my favorite hoodie before buying all of this was a champion hoodie actually so that just goes to show you that i really like champions Last but not least, we have a Y3 shell track it. The reason I bought this is because it was on sale. Uh, it's only $330, it was 110. And I got it from Extra Butter, I believe, or Bodega, one or the other. And we have this side pocket right here, like a cargo short, but for a jacket. And you know, it's like a basic jacket besides that, but like you got the Y3 detailing right there and I think that adds a little bit more hype to it. And the reason why I like that so much is because of the Prada and Raph Simmons Fall Winter uh, show that they had with the leather jackets and the bags they had over there. When I saw those, I was like, wow, what a fucking cool idea. I've never, I would have personally never thought of that. And they implemented it and they implemented it in a way that actually seems to work but we can't be sure until we see other like regular people wear it and everything and it's not just like a runway because things tend to look better on a runway so i'm just hoping that i'm just hoping that uh <laughs> it ends up looking good the leather jackets uh but that inspired me to cop the y3 jacket uh anyways i might do a little bit of styling for you guys i might just wear the sweatpants and put them on and try different shoes on for you guys and do a little bit of that so let's head to bed